Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything to do with Alphabet. Alphabet happens to own lots of companies like Verily, Chronicle, Waymo, and Google. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the fantastic audience. Today we're talking about drones coming to your home, phones, your comments, and more. But first up, it's Galaxy Fold time again. On to Galaxy Gateway. You guys know about the Galaxy Fold. Right now, the device missed its release date of April 26th due to issues with review units and is on hold. In short, some review units of the Galaxy Fold had their flexible screen fail. Check out the last episode for more on that. Well, the saga of the Fold continues. Let's talk about iFixit. It's a company that helps people repair their own devices. It also posts teardowns of devices to help others understand how things are put together and taken apart. Well, iFixit published a teardown of the Galaxy Fold. iFixit said the Fold had lots of potential entry points. It also said when closed, the screen is protected, but the spine is flanked by massive gaps that will definitely attract dirt. The company was also curious with the screen protector on the flexible screen. iFixit asked, why not extend this layer under the bezels to hide it from peel-happy folks like us? As you are aware, peeling off that layer could kill the display. So here's the thing. The iFixit teardown of the Galaxy Fold is no longer available at iFixit. A blog post explains that, quote, we were provided our Galaxy Fold unit by a trusted partner. Samsung has requested through that partner that iFixit remove its teardown. We are under no obligation to remove our analysis, legal or otherwise, but out of respect for this partner, whom we consider an ally in making devices more repairable, we are choosing to withdraw our story until we can purchase a Galaxy Fold at retail. Anyone else think this smells fishy? The original teardown notes are still available on archive.org if you're interested. Who's up for Uptown Updates? Speaking of flexible phones, images of a foldable Moto Razr popped up on Weibo and then on SlashLeaks. It pretty much looks like the Moto patent that was floating around back in January. It's a very tall phone with a flexible inner display and maybe an outer front display. Take these images with a grain of salt though. Motorola has said it is working on a flexible phone that will be out this summer. A render of the Pixel 3a popped up via Evan Blass. It definitely looks pixely. There's even an image of the Iris model. It's a very light purple. Verizon said the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G is coming on May 16th. That lines up with earlier leaks. Wing has gotten the go-ahead for drone deliveries in the US from the FAA. The FAA gave Wing air carrier certification, which means the company can begin a commercial service delivering goods from local businesses to homes in the US. The company says testing will occur in Virginia with a goal of a delivery trial later this year. A quick reminder that Wing is owned by Alphabet. Alphabet's Loon is getting a $125 million investment from a company owned by SoftBank. Loon's is the company that provides internet via balloons. That still sounds crazy and strange. Waymo is going to Detroit. The company announced it will repurpose an old American axle and manufacturing facility. There, Waymo will install its hardware and software to make its fleet drive on its own. Waymo says that this is the first 100% dedicated level 4 autonomous vehicle factory. The Energizer P18K ended its Indiegogo campaign. The P18K is that brick of an Android phone with an 18,000 milliamp hour battery. The company behind the phone was looking to raise $1.2 million. It raised, drum roll please, over 56 million Ugandan shillings. Oh, that's around 15,000 US. On to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world, you guys. Chris says the Fold for AT&T release date is June 13th. Now, I've seen that report too. I'm being really cautious until Samsung announces a new date. Thanks. Matthew says, low-cost phone with a great camera? Look no further than the Xiaomi Mi 9 and the Mi 9 SE. Arcel in NYC says, I am really looking forward to the Pix 4XL and a Pixel Watch. Same here. I would love for Google to figure out a proper smartwatch. And lastly, what's up, Tarek TGM? I read every single comment that comes in, so thank you to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. YouTube has a deal with Major League Baseball. YouTube will live stream 13 games for free in the US, Canada, and Puerto Rico. The full schedule should be up in a few weeks.